A huge blow for the Roosters in the lead-up to the Monday night footy clash with the Rabbitohs at ANZ. Braith and Astor ruled out with a back injury after copping a knock during the final training run. Mitchell Pearce to partner high-profile signing Daniel Mortimer in the halves in the traditional round one local derby. Against the south side, also with new halves, rookie Adam Reynolds taking over from the departed Crisando After a turnover early, it was the Roosters who took full advantage. Gives it to the teenager, Cordner. He keeps it alive. Back to Minicello. He had Pierce coming with him. He flips it out the back. It goes back to Lama Tassi. And he goes in. Tassi scores for the Roosters. Right underneath the black dot. Big Dave Taylor showed he was going to be hard to handle from his very first touch. The Rabbitohs hitting straight back. Picked up by Taylor. Four of them there to stop him. And then it is every one of them. A former Roosters Premiership player catching his old side napping. What quite a will score! How easy was that? It had been a nervous start for the Rabbitohs rookie half Reynolds, but he soon found his groove. He kicks towards McQueen, who flew beautifully! A magnificent leap by Chris McQueen! It didn't ruffle the Roosters' feathers, though. They'd worked their way downfield for a carbon copy. The kick, a crossfield, looking for Guerra. He goes up above them. And what the Rabbitohs can do, the Roosters can match. Daniel Mortimer converting for a two-point buffer. Dave Taylor would tread a fine line. The penalty which followed, almost costing the Bunnies. Desperate defence holding Orbison out. Well, saving a try. Is like scoring one. A penalty levelling the scores before Matt King had the chance to send them into half time in front. Gives it to King who puts it down. Oh, there was a chance there. If he hangs on to it, he's going to take an enormous amount of stopping. 12 all at the break, two tries apiece. Sam Burgess would fire out of half time, forcing this turnover. It delivered the field position for John Sutton to take the line on. Comes to Sutton. For Sutton to storm through, and the Rabbitohs again have the lead. South would enjoy a glut of possession and extend that lead to eight. Anthony Minicello somehow penalised for this. Now Pierce will put it up in the air. See if they can get somebody to the contest. Minicello coming quickly, got tripped over accidentally by Cronker. They're going to say that Minicello has taken Farrell out of it in mid-air but it was completely by accident. The Roosters needed to take full advantage of limited second-half opportunities. Mortimer loses the ball. South punishing in defence at times. Oh, oh never. boy, Taylor! Then with two minutes to go, Maria Hargraves would find a way through four of them. One of them, Maria Hargraves, gets across the line. It would open the door for one last throw of the dice. A chance to come to the right-hand side, which is where he heads. They're chasing him in the inside. He gives it to Warburton. He can link up with Cordner. Pouring down the field. He kicks. Minicello. Minicello. Unbelievable. The Roosters have pulled off a miracle. Out of jail, local derby bragging rights for the Roosters, 24-20 in the end. Uh, we got away with the win. The last uh, few seconds, it was, uh, it was pretty surreal. Round one and these, uh, all these close games all weekend. It's, uh, it's a great start of the footy. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sport. <laughs>